Hey guys, I really hope you relaxed over Christmas because you definitely deserved it. And now we need to start thinking about May. Not for a lot of revision, we're not going to start doing hours and hours of hardcore studying yet. Um, we just need to start preparing, we need to start getting everything ready so that about February half term I'll do another video. We'll talk about how to start properly everything, but this half term, these like five, six weeks, what I wanted to do is start getting ready so that when we do properly start all of our vision, everything is there, everything is sorted, you have everything you need and you don't have to like waste time closer to the exams wondering what to do. So the first thing I want you to do is try a few different revision techniques. Now you've like you know had end of year exams, mock exams up until now and maybe you've always studied for it in the same way, maybe it's always been highlighting notes which is the worst thing in the world that you can possibly do. Your revision needs to be active, you need to be doing something, so we're talking flashcards, mind maps, study groups, loads and loads of different things you can be doing. I have made a ridiculously long playlist going through loads and loads of different revision techniques, study techniques, things that you can be doing. And I want you to go and try them. See which ones you like, see which ones work for you. Because now, in this time, in this six week gap, five, six week gap, we have time for you to try something, decide you don't like it, and it's gonna be okay. You won't have wasted loads and loads of time. But if we get to Easter and you try something and you don't like it, Mm, we could have been using that time a little bit better doing something else. So just go and try a load of stuff and decide what you like. The next thing I want you to do, which is also in the same playlist, the playlist is called How to Be Successful in School, is make yourself a study timetable. Now this is really, really important. We need to work out what are our high priority subjects, what are our low priority subjects. You need to work out how much time you're going to spend on your high priority ones, so like your maths, your English, your A-level subjects, and your low priority subjects, which are subjects that you had to take to make up a number but you don't really care about. And the timetable is going to help you spread your time evenly, because we all do it, we prefer to spend our time studying the stuff that we like. But we can't spend loads and loads of time studying chemistry and not spend any time studying English because English is just as important as chemistry. We don't want to get to May and realise that you spent twice as much time studying geography because you love it than you did maths because you hate maths. And I know loads of you do hate maths but it is going to be a high priority subject because we have to get that maths grade. You are going to have to be prepared to destroy a lot of trees because I want you to do a lot of printing out. Um, get the specifications and it's I want to say print it out, I do want you to print it out because I want you to draw on stuff, write on stuff, highlight stuff, colour code stuff that you know, colour code stuff that you don't name, tick on stuff when you've done it. Having it on a computer screen is fine, but it's really, really hard for you to annotate, it's hard for you to interact with. So I really want you to get the bits of paper that you can hold in your hands. So get the specifications, um, these are going to be deep in the recesses of the exam board website, you're going to have to spend a bit of time hunting for them, which is why it's a good time to do it now, as opposed to in May when we've got other stuff to be doing. Um, I've done science and maths for you that are available to download free over on my website. You can just read the specification, um, highlight whether you know it really well, whether you don't know it, which bits you need to revise on, and this will give you a really, really clear guide of what the examiners think you know and what you don't know. So that you can spend more time studying the stuff that you don't know. Um, maybe there was a lesson that you missed, but it's a really, really big part of the specification. You can spend time going over that. Make sure you know what the examiners think you know. Get your flashcards ready now. I'm not saying start using them loads and loads, but get them ready. Whether you want to make your own, or whether you want to get the ones that I've downloaded, whether they're going to be pretty flashcards, or whether they're just going to be bits of paper that you cut up. Start getting them ready now, so that they're there, available for you to use when we come to start our revision properly. Start finding and printing off as many past papers as you can find. Um, I've written loads for science and math over on my website, but if you go to the exam boards, they should have loads of sample papers ready for you to download. Don't use the ones from the old specification because is not going to be the right stuff, but download as many as you can for the current specification. You don't have to start doing the past papers now, you don't have to start filling in the practice papers, but make sure that they're ready, sorted, so that when we come to do them, um, starting like February time, that we don't have to spend time messing around, waiting for stuff to print out, waiting for this to happen, because you've done it all now. And then I want you to start thinking about ways that we can deal with stress. 
So when we're making our timetable, I want you to plan in time for exercise. Even if it's just a little bit of exercise, like, you know, walking to the shops or like, you know, 15 minutes walk here and there. I'm not saying you have to like run marathons or anything. I'm just saying a little bit of exercise each day is going to do your head the world of good. If we get into good habits now, a little bit of exercise, you know, a little bit of mindfulness, there are some great apps out there. This is one of my resolutions, one of my goals for 2018 is to do more mindfulness. There are loads of great apps out there that will help you do it, loads of great YouTube videos that will help you do it as well. It's it's really, really good for you, and it only needs like five minutes a day. If we start getting into these good habits now, by the time the full on stress of April, May, June hits, it will be established and you'll be good at doing it. So lots of things for you to be um, getting on with, ready for um, kind of like February half term. That's when everything's gonna start kicking off. Making your timetable, making your flashcards, deciding how best you like to revise. Go to stationery shopping and get your exam pencil case ready. Again, this is just saving time for in the future. Saving the time when you're gonna be really stressed, when you're gonna be pressured. Anything we can do now to relieve the pressure in the future is gonna be really, really good for you. Have a go at mindfulness, start making walking a bit of exercise, a bit of a daily habit, so that in five or six weeks time I'll come back, talk to you again how everything's going to kick off, you'll be ready, you'll be sorted, you'll be raring to go and then we can have the best start to your vision possible.